Welcome back to The Contrarian, everybody. It's a green day. I'm wearing green shirt because the markets are up big today. I'm sorry, it's the most green shirt I have. I don't have any others more green than this, a button down anyways. But today I'll really be talking about why, in my humble opinion, inflation is actually just beginning to come down and why it could come down pretty dramatically, pretty quickly in coming months. And I'll just be pointing out a very simple fact uh, that inflation has been very strongly correlated with M2 money supply and M2 money supply growth. They've been very strongly correlated looking back over the last decade or so, especially just looking at this recent inflation wave that we've had where inflation kind of made its way back into the mainstream headlines for the first time in multiple decades. I mean, it wasn't since the 1980s, maybe 1990s, since inflation had really been a problem for the Fed, they'd had a really, you know, easy sailing uh, period by and large for a long time without inflation really being a problem. But they did have it become a problem last year. It peaked at 9.1% in June of 2022. And now most recently, it's sitting at right at 3.1% on an annualized basis as of October of this year. And it came in underneath the market's expectations. I believe the street was forecasting 3.3% CPI annualized for October. It came in at 3.1. And of course, on the back of this, all the indices are up 2% or more. I think the Russell's up 4 or 5%. It's really ripped today. Gold is up. Uh, silver's up pretty dramatically. Um, bonds are up. So basically, everything is up today. Um, one thing I'll point out as a result of this is now the street's expectations for another rate hike are 0% for this year. So basically Wall Street is, is saying, okay, inflation's becoming less of a problem for the Fed, um, largely due to energy prices coming down a little bit, housing prices coming down a little bit. Um, and so, you know, we believe that there's less of a chance that they will have further rate hikes. Um, therefore, we're going to you know, go long, basically anything, you know, risk assets, especially, but also things like bonds, because bonds being at the yields that they are, are quite a good deal. If you think inflation is going to be coming down, trending downwards, um, you, you know, getting into bonds at the yields that they're currently offering would be a pretty good idea, uh, considering that they're a risk-free investment, um, so-called risk-free, of course. Um, but you know, all that being said, looking at M2 money supply, just for me, really does suggest that inflation is going to keep continue, you know, it'll continue to trend downwards. Um, you know, should the economy slide into a recession type of environment, you know, it really could very quickly flip to the Fed having to cut rates very quickly. Um, you know, in the past, they've never done like a 25 basis point series of rate cuts one after another, you know, month after month. Usually it's, you know, okay, this month we're cutting them 150 basis points or more. Um, you know, they, they cut rates very dramatically. They raise them more gradually. Even though this cycle they raised them pretty quickly, they're going to cut rates very quickly, especially if the economy um, continues to trend towards a recession. I know that a recession is kind of far off from everybody's mind right now, um, but it, it could be approaching. I mean, looking at unemployment beginning to tick up, um, looking at uh, core indications like energy prices even continuing to come down, even though the whole oil supply issue really hasn't been resolved. That's really just indicating a demand side uh, issue with oil. And while that does help inflation and energy prices to come down, you know, that's an indication of underlying weakness in the economy. People are just cutting consumption in ways that they can. Um, so, you know, all this being said, I just really wanted to put this out there, simply saying that in my opinion, I do think inflation is, is uh, trending downwards for the time being until the Fed really steps in again with massive QE, which they will at some point in the next recession. Uh, until then, I don't see inflation as a as a problem. Um, there are a lot of people who disagree with me right now, 
but just looking at M2 money supply, kind of underlying economic weakness, um, I would say are kind of the primary two factors here for inflation and what I expect. But I'd love to hear what all of you think about this topic of inflation, what it could look like in coming months through the end of this year, going into 2024, what all of your thoughts are. So let me know what you think of this, and I hope to see all of you again at some point.